Welcome back to TV5 News at 9. Today we are talking about the new College of Innovation and Technology at U of M Flint. Joining us this morning is College Dean Chris Pearson. Thank you so much for being here, Dean. We appreciate it. Thank you. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning. Okay, so Dean Pearson, tell us about the new College of Innovation and Technology. Yeah, certainly. It's a very exciting addition to the UM Flint campus that was made possible in part by a $10 million grant from the Charles Stewart Mott Foundation designed to fill the gap between vocational technical training and the very heavy math science intensive bachelor's degrees in engineering. The inaugural class begins this fall with two degree programs. The first is digital manufacturing technology, which is essentially computer science applied to manufacturing and automation and prepares students for industries that focus on next generation technologies. And the second is information technology and informatics, which focuses on a broad base of computer related skills and experiences and prepares students for employment at the intersection of people and technology. As the College of Innovation and Technology is being built from the ground up, it provides an opportunity very unique within higher education. That is the opportunity to be very creative and incorporate novel ideas throughout the development. Well, that's so exciting, and that's right here in mid-Michigan, right in our community. Thank you, Dean Pearson, for that. So why would you tell people that this is so unique? So, of course, the reason for creating the College of Innovation and Technology is to prepare students so that they do become the talented, in-demand workforce of the future. Certainly, they need technical content but it will be gained mainly through experiential hands-on learning. Our industry partners confirm that creativity, collaboration, critical thinking, and cultural awareness, all those aspects that are gained from a liberal education are highly sought after in the workplace and form an integral component of the degree programs. We infuse the entire enterprise with real world experiences such as project-based learning and ties to strong industry partnerships that provide internships and industry-driven curriculum and lab development. The strong ties with industry along with the creativity possible through this clean sheet approach allows for the reimagining of a comprehensive regional institution like UM Flint. While it still maintains its importance in conferring degrees, it becomes much more a piece of the economy and helps drive the regional economic growth. And students can really learn more about this new program that you have there. Tell us, you have a big open house coming up. Tell us about that and what students can expect at the open house. Yeah, certainly, thank you. The virtual open house is scheduled for Tuesday, March 23rd from 5.30 to 7.30 in the evening. In addition to learning more about the new programs in the College of Innovation and Technology, faculty presenters will be available to answer questions on existing UM Flint STEM programs in engineering and computer science, as well as biology, chemistry, physics, and mathematics, and pre-med and pre-healthcare fields as well. There are also sessions on financial aid and scholarships, campus housing, student life, undergraduate research, a panel of industry partners, and a parent panel designed to alleviate all those questions from parents. Prospective graduate students are also welcome. There's a $1,000 undergraduate uh, scholarship drawing and a $2,000 graduate scholarship drawing. And advisors will be available to assist with the application process. Another exciting part of the evening is that there will be a virtual fly through of the new expansion of the science building and a live feed from the new labs within the expansion. The evening is really intended to be a one stop event where you can learn about academic programs, financial aid and scholarships, housing, extracurricular opportunities, and cap it off with the ability to apply for admission. Well, that's really a can't miss event, jam packed with a ton of information. So tell us, you have something called the CIT Success Kit. How can students get one? What, what is that first of all? Yeah, first, it, it's, it is a special opportunity for the inaugural class of students in the College of Innovation and Technology. The CIT Success Kits provide one-time funding for first-year students. That's the fall 21 and winter 22 semesters. Students must major in either of the two programs that I uh, said previously, digital manufacturing technology or information technology and informatics. And the kit includes a $2,000 tuition scholarship with $1,000 applied each semester, one year of room and board for a standard double room, which is about a $9,500 value, 
Also included is a $500 book voucher, $250 for each semester through Barnes & Noble, and a laptop. In total, more than $12,000 of value for this package. And this is for new first-year students or transfer students with 30 or less credits. Students must register by May 1st for orientation, and they must maintain their registration for both fall and winter semesters, and of course, enroll in the required courses. <clears throat> That's a awesome little goodie bag there for prospective students. So tell us how your industry partners can help students out. And in fact, they have already started helping by working with us in the development of the curriculum. Our industry partners include GM, Ford, General Electric, Next Year, Verizon, Consumers Energy, and Boeing, just to name a few. They will help identify appropriate student projects, provide internship opportunities, source key pieces of laboratory equipment, and provide valuable feedback on our programs. For this, we, in turn, need to provide them the talented and educated workforce of the future that makes their business a success. Well, thank you, Dean Pearson, for bringing that information about the College of Innovation and Technology to all of our viewers. We appreciate you calling in today. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I appreciate that. You are welcome. Now, for more information, just head on over to the hot link section of WNEM.com.